There we go. Hey, everybody. It's time. It's time to finish this one up. And then, uh, probably gonna get into Mario Galaxy right after that, or, you know, maybe something else. Uh, I downloaded Pikmin. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stream it. Might do a test stream at some point for that. But we'll see. Um, in the meantime, it's time to finish this game. Make sure it's lined up there. I think that's good. Alright, let's do it. We're pretty close to the ending now, so uh, I just gotta get some of the... Let's see, let me... Wait, no, that's not it. Uh, here. Nope. There. Yes, okay. Uh, I don't care about that. Got all Bianco Hills, Rico Harbor, Peanut Park, Gelato Beach. Have barely touched Serena Beach. Got Noki Bay. So yeah, Pianta Village and Serena Beach. Okay, uh, I'll head to Serena Beach first, I guess, because Pianta Village sucks. So I'm gonna get the other stuff done first. Uh, is it already open? I'm just gonna rocket nozzle my way up there. See what's going on. We gotta whip. Woo! Yeah, looks like looks like we're good. Do 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 do. And whoop. Here we go. This is the hotel one, which also sucks by my memory. But you know what? We can work it out. Oh god. Oh, it's this one specifically. Right. The, the thing is, this is not exactly a difficult stage. It's just hard getting to it, which is the problem with the secrets in general. You know? Uh, also, I should bring up the chat. What am I doing here? Uh, nope, not that. There we go. I'm gonna put the brightness up so I can actually see it. Alright, as usual, you know, let me know if anything's happening with the audio or the video. I know there's a slight delay with the video. I can't really do much about that until I get a, uh, until I get a different capture card. But as it stands right now, this is good enough. I would say. I don't know. If you guys have a major problem with it, let me know. Alright. So let's get these guys. Ghosts. Ghosts. Alright. No, let me up. Alright. Uh, 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 don't overshoot it. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Halfway up already. See, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't trust the... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Did not trust the ones that were... Oh, whoops. That were not moving. Because they were a trap. Uh, whoop. Oops. Can I whoop into it? Yes! Perfect. Okay, I got through that pretty quick. Now I gotta do the secret stage, but they're not too hard. Oh, this is the stew one. Not a huge fan of the stew one. But you know what? I, I can I can deal. Whoops. Whoa, okay. God damn it. Oh, I fucking hate how like unpredictable the cartwheel jump is. Cause it's like it should just be something that you can do. Being, you know, something that you have to be able to do for half of the shit in this game. God damn it. So that's the thing, is this game would not be that hard if the fucking controls were good. Same the problem I had with Mario 64. I know, I know, everybody's like, oh, the controls are amazing. It's like, maybe they were amazing for N64 time, but by modern standards, those controls are not great. Like, it had a lot of options, I get that, and they don't, they're not the worst, 
but in comparison to the like precision platformers we've had since, it's a little trash. It's a little trash though, you know. Whoop. Oh, 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 okay. Gotta keep moving. Okay. I got it. There we go. Two. Whoa. Four. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh god, this sucks. Oh god, it's so slow. But it's like so precarious. Whoa! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh come on. Oh come on! Fuck off. Listen. I don't care that people, like, I know that it's like technical limitations that made the controls not as good, but my problem is that that game gets lauded as having amazing controls, and it doesn't. It has pretty shit controls, in fact. So like, I'm just annoyed at that, that it's treated as this fucking masterpiece when it's just kinda okay. It just was like really impressive at the time. And granted, yeah, most N64 platformers were pretty garbage in comparison, but now? Eh. And it's also, it affects my experience a lot more than the, the like the visuals in a movie, all right, can be a lot more stylistic, but it's like when it comes to controls in your game, if your controls do not work very well, it is an active detriment to your game on a mechanical level. It's not, it's not a, a fucking artistic choice, at least not with like a Mario game. Maybe some games that is their artistic choice to have like really tricky controls. Like, uh, what was it, Wings of V? Where it's like, it's, it's based around a double jump, but the double jump is like literally you can't, you jump you technically only get a single jump, but it can happen at any point in a fall. So it's like a flitter kind of thing. I don't remember. I never played it. I watched some people play it. It looked fun. Looked hard. Whoop. Alright. Oh god. Like this. Ah. Oh. oh geez. Oh god. Oh man. And then this. This. It's so slow, but if you're in the wrong spot, it can just slide you right the fuck off. God damn it! And now I have to do the whole ghost part over again. See, this is the big thing with all the, th I mean, all the 3D Marios in general, it's like the, the issue is that they're pretty good for the first couple levels. The first couple levels are really polished. And then after that, it just kind of gets absurd. You know what? I'm actually going to think about it. I'm going to go to Pianta Village and try and work out that stuff for right now. And I'll come back to Serena Beach. Yeah, well, Quop was not meant to be a fun game. Quop was p pretty clearly meant to be like an experiment. Like it, the people making that did not think that it was gonna be fun. Like it's, they didn't even put that much thought into the fucking like concept to begin with. They literally did the most basic like, okay, our game is about running. Uh, you're a fuck, you're a fucking hundred meter dash racer. Like. <laughs> That was specifically designed around the one mechanic of really ridiculous controls, and it was meant more as like a joke than anything. Alright, Pianta Village. 
Let's get your shit out of the way. Yeah, exactly. We're like, uh, uh, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Like, he, it, even within the voiceover, explains that that's exactly his intent, is to frustrate you. And it's like, artistically, you can do that, but that is not what these games were trying to do. They were trying to be a fun, accessible platformer. Oh, great. Okay. That one was not very helpful. <sighs> the thing is, I get that what you're generally supposed to do in this stage is just fucking annoying, because you have to find it. You have to figure out which specific thing, and then you have to, like, do the whole maze underneath. Is that a blue coin? Oh, hey. Yeah, sometimes the blue coins are crazy easy, and some of them are, like, nothing. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, this one does not lead there. Pretty sure they specifically say this one over here does, but they're not very clear about where to go. I guess that's supposed to be the the fun of the stage. Shit, do I really have to do that every fucking time? Yeah, I get it. It was like the fifth fucking place open. Why do they keep telling me that it's there? I know! I've gone there and done all of the fucking, like, main shines. <laughs> Can there really not be a fucking, like... A fucking if this then that exception? A fucking if been to... Noki Bay, then don't fucking do the cutscene for Noki Bay. Like, it's, it's... The, the Debs, the Debs alerts. The, that was literally, like, I was saying, that was good because it's subtle. It's like a simple little thing where they're just like, oh, this thing's happening over there, but it's not, like, obtrusive. If you're trying to figure out what to do, you can check it, but if you're not, then it's like, who cares? It's out of the way. Whoa. That was a tired current corner than I expected it to be. Hmm. Get out of here. No! Fuck! I expected it to fall out of the way in time, but it didn't. Yeah, this whole episode system of having to do them in order. Cool on a theme level, mechanically incredibly annoying. Because it gives me so little agency on how I want to finish this game. Especially considering that, like, 
to get the number of shines if I could do it with like other uh, if I could do it with other shines than the episode shines that would be so much more interesting and it would be more like challenging on the level that I want it to be rather than having to do stuff like this that's not really that hard it's just like cumbersome Like, I have to run behind the village every time like this. If it was in a single playthrough, that'd be really interesting cool. But having to do it over and over again is just frustrating. I just want to get to the end of the fucking game. go. Okay. I think I just got back to the other side of the level. This is not super helpful. Oh, right, the rope. the one I need? Whoa. Uh, no, well. Okay, the thing I need is over there. I think. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Okay, am I in the correct location? I think so. Yeah? Yes, this is this is the right place. Yeah. Come on, come on. Up. Hello, friend. Oh, God. How am I supposed to... How the fuck am I supposed to get up there? Okay. Jesus. someone who can just put it where it, like right here so many of these they just like it just phew, off a million miles away <coughs> hmm okay that's three out of seven for this one oof okay Chain Chomp's Birth. Mmm, I remember this one. Clean him off. He's smelly.
Ah, right. That's what I gotta do. Hmm. Well, let me wait until... Until... Until they get closer. Come on, come on, right here, right here. No, 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 come on, come on, right here. God damn it. God damn it. Had him right there. Alright, just gotta wait for him to get back around. Yeah, no shit. I get that they don't want to. That's something that always frustrates me in games, is when, um... When the tutorial character... Uh, despite you doing what you need to because of an AI in the game... Um them giving you crap like you don't know what's what's going on like I get it I get what they need me to do here god damn it but it's not because of me I know what I, 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 I gotta wait on the game so treating me like I'm an idiot for not doing the thing that I can't do because of the game it's annoying. Let's do this. No, come on. In the bath. Take a bath. Take a bath. There we go. Okay. I'm gold. cranking through them not too bad I'm pretty sure I mean getting to Bowser I know for a fact is gonna be a pain in the ass too because that lava boat ride while a cool idea definitely like has interesting concepts and it uses like all the skills you fucking learned god damn it and I still have the hover nozzle all Gee, it sure would be nice if I could fucking do the goddamn flip consistently. It'd be great if the fucking input, when done the same way every fucking time, did the same consistent action. Yeah, exactly. I think that's. I mean, yeah, Tattle being an asshole versus Navi. I think also it's it's the same thing as Midna. Midna's way more popular because like her thing is she's treating you like an idiot, but unlike Navi, who's supposed to be your friend and you're supposed to like, Navi or Midna's directly just like, nah, now nah, you are an idiot. 
you are an idiot and I can't believe I have to tell you all this. And it's like, yeah, that's a way more interesting dynamic than a character who's just like, I think you're great. Do you know how buttons work? It's like, that, that, that just feels annoying. Speaking of fucking annoying. <sighs> Why? Why is this how you had to get to this fucking level? That's true, Midna had a... Uh, had more things than just visuals. Or more than just person... I don't fucking... I'm trying to... Focus. Uh, alright. I need a Yashi. I know that. Because they showed me the Yashi. You want a pair. Alright, where do I get the pairs? I believe some of the fruits are up here? Right? Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. Oh, that's right. There's like fruit trees or whatever. <laughs> there we go. Okay, give me the give me the pear. I do love how Mario holds the fruit. Cause it's so friggin' huge. A pear you can eat like a watermelon in slices. Kobe. Yeah. Got with the bank shot. All right. Gotta go to the underside. Got a juice. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I remember this sucking a lot. Whoa! Okay, too much. Too much. No, no, no. I don't need... Maybe I do. Can I? Can I? Nope. <sighs> Never mind. I don't really eat pears. They have a really unpleasant texture. They're very, they're very like gritty. Sometimes they'll have pear flavored stuff, but like if I go for fruit, pear is pretty low. Pretty low on the tier list. Granted, every now and then, I don't know, there's a lot of different foods where every now and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I should get that, and then I have it, and I'm like, okay, remember why I don't eat that all that often? Like, once or once every couple years, I have a sudden craving for spam, and then I get it, and I'm like, hmm, yeah, that's spam. You usually just fry it up as a sandwich. It's fine. It just tastes like, tastes like meat. That no, wait. He needed the melon, didn't he? Spam's okay. I mean, it's a, I feel like it gets a bad rap. It's it's just processed like ham. Like it it, it stand. Well, wait. It doesn't really stand for. It. Spam got its name because they were at a party, the people who made Spam, who developed it, and somebody suggested they call it s Spam because it's like a smearing of seasoned pork, shoulder, and ham. Spam. So it's like, it's fine. It's, it's no worse than any other lunch meat, bologna, or whatever. 
I think it, it's... I, I personally only find it that palatable when it's fried. Like in a really thin strip. Like a masubi. The like spam sushi. It's pretty good. Okay. Let's see if I can make it this time. Okay. What? Oh, that's right. Yashi Flutter. Okay, this isn't too hard to get to then. I'm confused why I need a Yashi, though. Oh, right, because it's the, the juice. Oh, oh. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, some people have it raw, which is also okay. But it's like, it's a, oh no. Oh no, it's the Chucksters. Oh God. <sighs> this is infamously the worst, worst thing in the entire game because these guys do not work yeah there we go see look already what god damn that's true it's not technically raw it's like it's cured um although it's not technically cooked either. Why the fuck see look at that. Why did he do it like that? I don't okay. Oh boy. Oh god, oh god. Okay. How? How was I supposed to know the right spot to go to? Pretty much, even like huge fans of this game pretty much agree that that, that is the worst secret mission. Because the Chucksters just don't make any goddamn sense. You can't predict what they're gonna do. Like, no matter how straight on you get it, they're still gonna throw you at weird angles. Or, like, you won't be able to, like, even know what you're supposed to be aiming at. So, I don't know what what they expect of me. Alright, we're gonna try the, the lobby secret again. Hmm... Yeah, I think spam mainly all it makes me think of is like Hawaii cuz there's a lot of spam in their cuisine because that's the rations that the US gave them after they forcibly annexed the the country. So musubi and like uh spam and eggs and everything. That's where that all comes from. It's just what they gave us. Similar to, uh, like, Bannock. Like, the, that's just, like, the, the same flour, salt, baking powder that the U.S. military gave to the native peoples in the reservations. Oh god, oh god, this is not gonna go well. Uh, okay, I gotta get, I gotta get like one more. Uh, oh, okay. Fuck me, I guess. What the fuck? Fuck off, dude. Fucking doing this. I'm dealing with ghosts. Yeah. 
Well, not mad. I was trying to do, but I will accept it. Yeah, sure, I'm in. I wonder what Bannock and Spam would be like. Maybe like a sandwich? That could be good. Hmm. I haven't made it in forever. Really, I don't think I've made it since I moved down to Georgia, honestly. It's, uh... I mean, it's the easiest recipe. It's just... Flour and water, a little baking powder, uh, and some salt. Just kind of mix it until you get a decent, like, pancakey consistency. Pan fry it. Maybe put some honey on it or dredge in salt. That's pretty much it. It's not really an exact recipe. You kind of just have to practice. It's pretty good, though. Just quick, quick bread. Um... We might also hear it called fry bread, which is what it was called where, like, I grew up in the, like, uh, Spokane, Coeur d'Alene area. But it's the same thing. That's the thing about 3D Mario, they always get you second guessing whether the angles are good because half of the time, the angles make no fucking sense. Ooh. Get out of here, Stu. Get out of here. I keep, I keep having to move my phone closer because I'm not wearing my actual glasses. Oh, which my usual, like, pink-striped ones that I customized broke again. Which, it sucks, but it was kind of bound to happen. I can just fix it with some more epoxy, like I did last time. Probably do a neater job of it, hopefully. But I don't really have time right now. As you can see, from the background here, I have my gaming table set up. Because it's time. It's time to film Whiteboard Games Season 2. <sighs> so I'm going to be focused on that for the next, like, week or two. Um, and then editing it probably for the next few weeks. I don't know. I don't know. I planned to have it done a lot earlier, but I wasn't able to get the stuff until a lot later than planned. All right. Now, this is one, this is like a ghost house thing. You gotta find like the, the sneaky secrets. I don't, I don't really remember how you get this one started. Yeah, you gotta get into the pool room there. I push the B button. Yes, that's it. What are you doing in here? Um, oh, that's right. You gotta get a Yashi. Because they'll eat the ghosts. Alright, where's the Yashi egg? Where's the Yashi egg? I think it's just on the ground floor. Is it, is it over there? Yes, what's he want? Pineapple? I'll grab you a pineapple. Oh, that's right. And <laughs> this sneaky shit of they have everything except the one fruit you'd need. Oh boy, okay. Um. Whoops. Hold on. Where's the pineapple? I 
I need the pina. Hmm. Well, I guess it could be through here. You know where I can find it. Mm. Ah, Luigi's Mansion. That'd be a fun one to play on here. Again, I don't know if I'll be able to um, stream it just because, like, my computer can handle emulation. But as we saw when I tried to stream Thousand Year Door, it can't really handle GameCube emulation. So I don't know. I'll. I'll figure it out, I guess. Probably have to wait until I get a better computer, you know? Oh, blue. I mean, that's not what I was looking for, but okay. So, like, a trapdoor I gotta go through? Hmm. I gotta do a stompy, right? No, that's where I came in. Hmm. There. Um. Hmm. Well, that wasn't very helpful. I like this. You know, this, this specific stage, it's like, it's not super intuitive, but it's like, I, I like the idea of having basically, like, the ghost house. But unlike the ghost house, there's, like, actually ways to, like, figure this out. The problem with the ghost house was always that you kind of had to, like, already understand the tropes of the ghost house to, like, solve most of them. And if you didn't already know how to do them... Yeah, yeah, we're kind of screwed. What am I looking for here? What am I looking for? Uh, let's check the ground floor. See what's up. What do you gotta say? No, it's not. Water damage. Is that a... Is that a, a clue? Yeah, yeah, it's a clue. Okay. Oops, come on. It's a ghost! Uh, whoa. It's ghosts! Oh, right, I gotta do little flips. Boy, I sure love how precise Flood is. There we go. Ah, the pink ones. And do something. Um, oh wait, they're the platform ghosts. go pineapple how do I get it out of here I 
Oh. Well, I suppose that's an option. There we go. Kobe. Gotta get highlights of those. Well, we do have a Wii, but I don't... Whoops. Oh, jeez, that could have been bad. Uh, we do have a Wii, but we don't. I don't have a way to capture it. I only have the Elgato, which only captures HDMI. I guess I could get an RGA to HDMI uh, converter. I guess that could work. I don't know. It'll look real bad is the thing. Like, when you convert something like that, unless you have some kind of upscaler, don't look great. See it into ghosts. Good. Munch them, my boy. Whoops. You sneaky bastard. Okay. Anything? Anything? back here, so I don't need that. Nope, don't need over there. Get out of here. Hmm. Wait, no, it's gonna be... Okay. Hold on. Also, what are you even doing up here, dude? I mean, sweeping, obviously, but, like, why are you doing it here? And there's so many other places that could be swept. There's a lot to do out there in the Ghostfield Hotel. Um. Hmm. This maze kind of sucks. How do I... It's not that. I'm missing something? I don't... What? Where do I go? That hole there is how I found the way to the pineapple. Uh, well, I guess there's another tile there. Let's see what that does for us. Okay, I did it. Just in time, too. Whew. All right. We're getting pretty close. Let's see. So let's see, we have four, seven. We have seven more shines that we gotta get. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break real quick. And I'll be right back to continue on the quest. So don't touch the internet dial, I'll be your beat.
All right, I am back. Let's get this. Last seven sprites, and then the lead up to Bowser, and then the Bowser fight. Got this, got some tea. Might grab some margarita as a little celebration. I don't know. Depends on if I'm gonna need another break or not. The secret of Castle. Okay, well, we already did a secret here. God damn it, why is there all these secrets? Or no, this is the one that's uh, the, the King Boo fight, I think. Lovely Irish breakfast tea. So like an English breakfast tea, but it has hops. Right this way. All right, let's do it. Right, I gotta do all this. All right. Um. Did. Gotta get all sevens. All right. Whoops. This one's not nearly as hard as the next one, I'm pretty sure. What? Seven. Uh, coin. 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 Ghost. Ghost. Coin. Coins. Single coin. Oh, no, almost. Seven. All right, that's the first one. Then I've got to do the one on this side. Then there's like the big panel one that's gonna be a pain. Right, this one's like actually. Nope. Shit, shit. This one's like actually a slot machine, so you just kind of got to keep going. Thanks for the coin. No, nope, I don't even get a coin because it's a stack of. God damn it! Mario! Oh boy. Love when they just put gambling in these games. Oh, it doesn't even need to all be sevens. No, it doesn't matter. Got in two. There it is. There's the hard one. Oh boy, this one's gonna suck. Okay. I just gotta flip them all. There's a pain. Because yeah, any errant splatters are gonna flip the ones that have already been done. How do speedrunners do this? This, this bit specifically. All right, I got most of those ones. So let's just be careful. Nope. Fuck, fuck, okay, okay. That worked out, how do I? Yes. Yeah, the prevailing wisdom is they do this, I guess. Not really. Uh-uh. I mean, it's not that bad. It is a pain, but I've certainly played worse mini games in my day. At least, like, this one has a very obvious solution. Even if it is really hindered by the crap controls. Oh, whoops. It's fine. Nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's the last one. Okay, well, bottom two. Oh, come 
on. God damn it, flip. Flip, you piece of shit. There we go. Christ. Yeah, yeah, speedrunners are absurd. I don't know how they manage half of the stuff they end up doing. Or no, this isn't the one, right, this one is a secret stage, and then the next one is King Boo, right? It's like further upstairs or something? I don't know. Oh, that's a moving platform. I'm very lucky with that. I was a bit bold. Uh, this, whoa. Oh, whoa. How am I meant to, oh, oh, I see, I see. How do I... That scoots back... There. Here. Okay, whoops. Whoop. Oh boy. Okay. Fuck! I, I fucking hit jump! Hit jump. I'm marking that because that was a pretty good save. God damn it, I hit fucking jump. Jump, Mario. Jump. Oh, now he does a cartwheel fucking flip. Nope. I'm still pretty shocked that the Chucksters are a required shine for the to get through this game. Because, like, this? This is reasonable. This is tricky, but it's, like, doable. The Chucksters are just fucking broken. Six more, six more. We got this. I got this. There is this that is gotten. There we go, King Boo down below. Yeah, I get it. None of these are helpful. I hate that it just keeps showing the front of the hotel, like, oh, that's where you should go. It's like, yeah, you mean the one place in the entire level? Like, this intro area is just for the f first, like, boss fight. Everything else is, like, doesn't really have anything happening. <laughs> Can we trick you? <laughs> All right, come on, let's do it. Oh, and I gotta do this, whoops. Gotta figure out my way into the basement, I guess? Yep. Oh, that's it, okay. Never mind. I thought it'd make me do the slot machines again. Thankfully, that is not a requirement. All right, so I gotta get all the purple. And then, uh, I gotta get a spicy. I gotta get the spicy. Pineapple. There we go, gotta give him the spicy. No, didn't mean to do that. And then we gotta put him out, which is... Uh, I don't feel like should help him, but I guess... Is that's not a good for him? Or, oh, do I grab his tongue? 
What's the what's the deal here? Is he frozen? Am I hurting him? Is this what I'm supposed to do? What am I missing? Oh, okay. Did I do that right, or...? Man, these boos suck. They're, like, so easy to, like... to, like, ward off. Why would... Oh, gee, I wonder what to do other than, like, use the only fucking item I have. What? A mystery, you say? Oh, not these guys. Knock it off. Knock it off. Oh, boy. Sure, sure love that. Everybody loved it in Mario 64. You just had no control over your trajectory and stuff. Let's make an enemy just like that again. Sounds like a grand old time. Alright, get some fruit. Or, what? What is that? Oh, it's a bunch of stews. I can handle stews, come on. Literally handle themselves. They jump right onto your feet. Come back. Come back. It's the next one after the green. There we go. Yeah, this boss fight is... I remember it being a lot more fun, but it's it's real just kind of slow. Oh god, what is it? the steam and stew. Oh my god. Oh my god, go down, you piece of shit. Holy shit. And getting it to stop moving is, uh... Real easy. Oh god, give me a coin. Give me a coin so I can make that shit stop. Fruit! Okay, coins. Thanks. Oh my god. I wonder if it did that specifically because I knew I needed it. There we go. <laughs> Come on, fruit. There we go. Entirely sure. He appears to be in pain. Is there something else I'm supposed to do, or? Can I run around him? What do. What am I meant to do here? 
feel like they expect me to do something else. Jeez, he's gonna bring out more guys. I don't fucking care. Oh, wow, what a menace. Oh wow, how will I ever contend? Oh, uh. oh I see. Or are those good? Nope. Whatever, I'll just avoid them. I don't actually need to... That's a lot of space. Hmm. Oh, jeez. This is kind of fun. Doing anything here? Or... Okay. Oh, I wasn't even trying to do it for a minute there. Oh, there's the replenishing. Okay. And this boss fight sucks. <sighs> Whoops, I didn't see what it was. Ah, fruit. like there's something else I'm supposed to be doing, but they've really not made it clear. Ah, uh, coins. Cool. Let's do it. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. I must be... There has to be something else I need to do. What what else am I supposed to do here? Mario, Sunshine, King, Boo. Hmm. 
Battle, there it is. Down there, blah, 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 I do not care. Hmm. To, to move in different directions, purple tile, yeah, I got that. Oh, god damn it. You have to hit him with another fruit while he's on fire, not put him out. I guess. I don't know why. If they wouldn't harm him otherwise, why would I think that they're going to harm him then? Doesn't make a lick of sense. But all right. So I have to do it while he's on fire. Well, there's no more fucking peppers, so I don't care. And then I gotta spray him to get him to do the thing. Okay. No oh, mystery. That's not good. Yeah. Stews and bloops. Well, what do you want? Oh, Are those considered enemies? They hardly even seem like characters. Alright, fruits. So let's do it right this time. I gotta hit him with the pepper and then literally any other fruit. Something that they made super clear. Pick up the fucking pepper, Mario. I guess they assumed you would try another fruit first. I don't know why. Yes, those. And then these guys. All right. I don't even need the outside ring. Get out of here. Fruit, perfect. There we go. Is that it? Is he done? Nope, guess not. You don't even need to hit the same like square as it. You can hit the square next to it and it works. <sighs> go on then. Not nope, question marks. Could be fruit. Oh, that's a fish. <sighs> and there's the fruit. I get him. Yep, there we go. Ah, 
I'm done. King Boo. King Bullshit. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I know. Noki Bay's open. Wowee. All right, five more. Scrub and Serena Beach. Okay, finally, one that's like not in the thing. Mario, the electric goop is back. Oh, that's it, I just gotta clean up as much as possible. Three minutes, can do. Now, the prevailing strategy as a kid was always to just use the hover nozzle so that you can just kind of get a big area, but I think that's actually not a very useful strategy. Sure, it would have been nice if they told me how much I need to clean up. Just like all of it? Every spec? I'm gonna tell you now, that's not happening. play this music to act like this is all hectic, it's like, I'm just kinda, just kinda going. You know, same, same business as you, whoops, I meant to save there. Uh-oh. That's fine, I'm gonna get this shine, and I'll save up. So why is this after, like, the casino and bullshit? This is, like, so easy. This should be, like, the one, this should be so much earlier. In fact, why isn't this the one directly after the Manta Ray one? You know, to be like, oh, look, the manta ray left all this goo. Like, I don't, I don't get why they saved this for six. expect me to do every bit? This is not what... I guess there's that little bit. Oh, I did it with three seconds to spare. Cool. Man, they expect you to get like 99% of it. Hot damn. All right. One last one here. Back to the Chucksters. Time to get Shadow Mario's ass. Shadow Mario checks in to the hotel. He had a reservation. Um, he's been playing this for a while, you know. Why do they keep calling him Shadow Mario? Like at this point in the game, you can pretty much assume that we know who who he is. I guess because he's still in the Shadow Mario mode. Let these people into the fucking hotel, dude. Jeez, um. 
Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, asshole. Oh, the ghosts are back. Does that not count? Am I not hitting him right now? Where'd he go? Through here? Fuck. Oh, did he jump back down? Yeah, there he is. I'm gonna get you, Shadow Mario, you rap bastard. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I hate, I fucking hate that the fucking flood can arc over like that. Like, seriously, the fact that it can miss something directly in front of you is so ridiculous. This whole thing's just a little misdirect. He's back down on the floor. Oh my god. Fucking go down, dude. How many goddamn times do you have to fucking hit him? Oh, come on, that fucking hit him like 40 times. <sighs> like, how much do you have to hit him? And why it, does it sometimes just not hit him? Wendy? Who's Wendy? I don't know this Wendy. Alright, that's it. Done with this one. Now we gotta go finish off Pianta Village. Chucksters is probably gonna be the hardest part of this ending bit. All the Chucksters and then I gotta... I gotta go on the, the boat. Which is a pain in the ass. Alright, and then we're loading up. Wow! Alright. Chuck. Chuck myself right in. The Chucksters are especially annoying because you have to go and get the fucking Yashi first. Like, you can't just run right there. You have to get Yashi and do this whole little, like, platforming bit that's super, like, super tricky. Alright, Pinapple. I must feed my boy a Pinapple. There we go. I like this many fruits tree. Any fruit you could want. Grab it. Mario, grab the fruit. Or fucking go flying off. What the fuck? Grab the fucking fruit. Mario! What the fuck was that? That is not even the one I want. That's a durian. God damn it. There's the one I'm looking for. Oh my god, just grab the fucking fruit, Mario! There we go, Jesus Christ! Oh, and a hole right there, just in case. So you can completely fuck it up. Alright. Kobe. Never mind. Shit. Well, hopefully that respawned. Yeah. 
Yeah, it did. Come on. Give me the fucking fruit. Oh. Oh, uh, the right Wendy Okupa. Um, and, uh, I say Yashi, <laughs> it's a very specific reference. Okay, uh, I don't watch much of Vine Sauce, but I did watch the time that Joel destroyed a Windows XP computer, which is a hilarious video. So if you just look up Joel destroys Windows XP computer, but at one point he's in MS Paint drawing Mario and Yoshi, and because he's, like, Dutch or something? Norwegian? I don't know. He, he, with his accent, he pronounces it Yashi. And I always found that really delightful. And I just, I know it's Yoshi because it's Japanese, but it's like, yeah, the, the Yashi. I don't know. I don't know. It feels good in the mouth. Kobe. There, I did it. First try, definitely. That's what the highlight's gonna show. See why there's so many. Nope. I see why there are so many one ups in front of the Chuckster one. I feel like that was their way of uh, trying to balance it. <clears throat> Alright. We only got three more here. Three? Yeah, three. This... Whatever the next one is in the Shadow Mario. And the Shadow Mario is super easy. And then it'll unlock uh, Corona Mountain. We'll be able to get to the end of the game. Oh, uh, wait. Pair? Pair it's set. There we go. Give me the pair. All right, here we go. Mm, Kobe. I mean, yeah, if I did that, that would probably be the same thing. I'm, I am not good at games. I love games, I love game design and stuff, and I'd, I'd like to make my own games at some point, but I will admit, first and foremost, that I am fucking, like, bad at games. Nope! I didn't even hit the tree on that one, I just zipped right through. Oh yeah, Smash especially. I'm just I'm fighting games. My eyes aren't fast enough for it. Although, I don't know. I've been, like, um, watching a lot of magic content and, like, really honing in on, like, sleight of hand and noticing that stuff, so maybe my eyes have sped up a bit. They can... If I can catch a master at sleight of hand... I guess it also, because I actually recognize what I'm looking for with the sleight of hand.
You are the second person to make, uh, to think that. Uh, I was talking to my sibling and I was like, yeah, I got back into Magic recently and they were like, oh, I haven't played Magic Gathering in forever. I'm like, no, the, like, sleight of hand and stuff. <laughs> it's fine, I get it. Um, especially because my main thing is card magic. And I've been collecting, I've been, I usually am like, I am started collecting playing cards and got into Magic. So people were just like, oh, Magic the Gathering, collecting cards. Yep, that, that tracks. It's like, no, not quite. Um, I am gonna do a video showing off part of my card collection sometime soon. Although I am waiting on a couple pieces, uh, a couple new decks. So, maybe I'll wait until after that. I just, I'm gonna do it while I have all the whiteboard game stuff set up back there. Alright, let's load up on one-up mushrooms. Oh, oh no. Yoshi, no! Okay. I was about to lose my goddamn mind if that happened. Magic tricks, I guess, yeah. I don't know. I, um... I, usually I just say sleight of hand. Because, I mean, it's not like anybody doesn't... Any adult will recognize that that's what's going on. And sleight of hand is, like, um... As someone pointed out with, like, Penn and Teller, it's like Penn and Teller shows off how you do the cup and ball trick, right? With clear cups and everything. It's like, technically, you could do that too. But it's just like years and years of practice to get it so flawless that people don't realize what you're doing. And it's the same with like card magic. Like, I know how to do a bunch of tricks right now, but I'm not gonna do them for anybody because I'm not good enough at them yet to uh, prevent, you know, uh, flashing. It, it'll be really obvious what I'm doing. Oh, come on! Half the time when you're like that close to the wire, it's like, no, we'll zip you right over, but fucking on the Chucksters, it's gotta be real precise. Nope, nope. That's a trap. I'm not gonna... <sighs> hmm. How does sl sleight of hand sound more like a Magic the Gathering thing? It's not really something... Unless you're, like, cheating, I guess. Although... I don't know, like, the amount of work it would take to f use sleight of hand to cheat at Magic the Gathering feels like it wouldn't be really worth it. Oops. Uh-oh. Nope. I'm going right over. Yep. Yep. Motherfucking Chucksters. Christ, this is still the beginning of this, too. It doesn't even, like, the harder things aren't until, like, a bit from now. Look at that. What are these clocks, too? They just, like... They just have their own fucking routine. Okay. Oh. 
Oh my god, fucking stews. Yeah, I know you're a fucking chuckster. Everybody in this fucking place is a chuckster. Alright. And that's just like extras. I guess there's a blue coin. Don't really care. Gotta like line yourself up. Because wherever you, they'll throw you exactly 180 degrees from wherever you talk to them at. Yeah, the decks. Well, it's like, um, I can show you some that I have right here. Just like a deck of playing cards. I got, uh, these are all just like bicycle, but I got like bicycle vintage, amplified, which I like the color scheme a lot. Whoops. Come on, come on. Chuck me. Chuck me. Nope. Well, mess that up. I also got webbed, which I'm pretty sure is not official, but it's definitely clearly trying to be like a Miles Morales style deck. And the feel on it is really nice. Um, I, I do... I do more cardistry than, uh, like, card tricks at the moment. If just because card tricks, like, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I've only been, like, back into them for, like, a couple weeks. So I, I can do some okay stuff, but I'm not, not great at that. Do it. Alright, alright. Just gotta play it safe. Oh, not what I meant to do. I don't want to piss off the chucks. Stews! Stews! Oh my god. See, the stews one on one are not that bad, but they can get fucking brutal when you got too many of them. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the spot. We will see. Come on over. Come on over. Gotta line this up. Just right. Oh, no, no, no. Buddy. No, come back! Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure it's lined up. stop over there. God damn it. Um, oh yeah, I also have, like, uh, the Nautic Backs, which I like the design. This is, like, a practice deck. I've kind of practically destroyed it. Um, just, like, practicing all sorts of weird shit. Alright. Alright, that's it. Oh. Fuck's sake. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. <sighs> okay. That was probably the hardest part aside from the final boat. Let's let's see what this second to last mission is. The Shadow Mario is never like that difficult, so I'm not too worried about it. Piantas in need. What do they need? Look, oh, it's daytime again. Oh, 
That's it. You just gotta help him out. Well, that's easy. Nope. Okay, I gotta do it in three minutes. Got it. Okay, this one doesn't seem too bad. Just gotta sequence it out correctly. Ah, oh, two for one. That's easy, that's half of them right there. Uh, where's some more goop? Oh, there's some. Alright, I see another one right there. Oh, let me go over here before I get too far away. This is e oh, this is an easy one. Make sure I'm not missing anything over there. Okay. And then one more. Oh boy. In games like this, it's always that last one that gives you the most trouble. Come on, oh, there it is. I see him. Still a minute to spare. There we go. Did pretty good. Alright, now just the last Shadow Mario mission, and then on to Bowser. I did it, I did it, bud. Oh boy, where are you gonna send it? Okay, just there. That's not too bad. Well, now I can finish this Shadow Mario. This won't take more than a, a minute or so. They're usually pretty quick. And then I will take one more break. And then... I will go... Kick Bowser's ace. Shadow Mario runs wild. And he stayed doing some annoying shit. Come on, come on, come on. Up, up, up. Okay. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Hit him! All right, there we go. 
Come on. Give it to me. Give me my prize. There he is. There he is. Oh, okay, don't start me. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Never mind. I forgot about this. Jesus. Come on, come on. All right. There he is. Get that bastard. All right, Corona Mountain. All right. So before I do this, I'm going to take another quick break, and then we're going to finish this. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet. I'll, I'll be RB.
All right, I am back. It is time to kick Bowser's ass. We do not I don't have that much margarita left, so. All right, and dirty a glass up. Ah, enjoy that. All right, all right, all right. Now this part sucks. I remember that, but it's not very long, so I don't mind. Come on, go down. Thank you. What? Okay. Uh-oh, that was close. Ooh. Cut that one a little close. All right. There we go. Now this part is not the hard part. I mean, it's a little tricky. So when you get that fucking boat over there, you can see it. That's the fucking bullshit. All right. What's in here? Another one up. Okay. Oof. Oh god. Oh god, already. How the fuck this even going through this goddamn Morva? Now, here's the thing. Hopefully, I will not have to show it. But, uh... If this bumps into anything... It just fucking rocks back and forth for a second. And it just fucking... Uh, it just fucking breaks. Oh, God. I don't know why that's pushing me back. Okay. Oh my god, one try? First try? Oh my god, there's a lot of blue coins here. No, it's fine. I'm close enough. I do not need the blue coins. Wow, first try! Holy shit! That's a fucking highlight right there. Markered. Alright, let me have a celebratory margarita swig. Hmm. Okay. Rocket nozzle. Oh boy, here we go. Now this part is pretty easy if I remember correctly. Like it could be tricky. But it's just kind of timing, I'm pretty sure. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, there's no fall damage, thankfully. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, ho, ho. Damn it. Okay, okay, I only went down one tier. Shit, shit. Nope. Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna reload the water carefully. Oh, the top down is actually the much is much easier to control. Ah, 
Okay. And I think that's it. Yes. Yes, here we go. Ah, that great Bowser voice. That's duty water right there. I don't trust that. Mario! And this is super easy. You just gotta get to the four points. Rocket jump and uh, smack down. The hard part is just dodging the fire. Dodging the fire and getting out. Uh, that shit. That is. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Woohoo. Okay, and I forgot about the ba bombs. Not ba bombs, bullet bills. What am I saying? Bam. Okay. Whoops. Can't go that way. Just gotta keep moving. Just don't, don't stop is the main thing. It's like Doom, you know? Movement is what will save you. Nope, nope, no, no, no. There we go. Oh, sorry, there's five points. Excuse me. Come on, come on. Jump, jump. Oh my god. Okay. Pretty sure, like, speedrun strats, you'd be able to get past that in time, but I ain't, I ain't fooling. I, I am not messing around. I just want to beat this shit. First try, please. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Bam. Ooh, ooh. Don't fall in the water. Oh, damn it. I faltered, I faltered. I could have gotten that first try. That's fine, that's fine. I don't mind two cycling it. Oh, fuck, I missed. I did it. Flipped it, flipped it. Yes. There he goes. We did it. Do, 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 do. Victory. Ah. A gentle fall down with the parasol. How lovely. Time is at one. 16. So yeah, it's pretty good. About two and a half hours. I did it. That was my first time beating uh, Mario Sunshine personally. I've played bits and pieces, but like, this game's pretty tough. It's fun, but it's tough. Oh. Big shine, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Wonderful. Oh, they dancing. Oh, they dancing. Hell yeah. Have a fun time, guys. I saved your land. Those textures that don't look great. <laughs> oh, Bowser, you're not as clever as you thought you were. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Good times, good times.
Flood, no! Flood, no! The vacation starts now. Oh, okay, everything's cool. Nice. We did it. Mario Sunshine, defeat. So, with that, I want to thank you very much for watching, whether it's in the past, present, or future. If you missed the beginning of this stream, or you want to watch the rest of the Super Mario Sunshine series, or any of my other streams, you can check the past broadcast tab up above on the browser version. That's the last 60 days worth of streams. If you want to catch all of my streams, they are on Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. That's my YouTube archive channel for the stream. That's all the streams I've ever done. And that's linked down below on the browser version as well. You can also find my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape, down there, where I have the first season of Whiteboard Games, which I'm going to be filming pretty soon. That's why this is set up. Um, I'm going to be f filming season two. Uh, I also have some other stuff that I'm going to do. Like I said, I'm going to show off my playing card collection, uh, play my board game collection. I've been meaning to do that for a while. And since I have this set up, that's a good surface. Um, and movie reviews and things like that. So I'd appreciate if you subscribed. If you want to catch any future streams, you can check the schedule down below. It'll show you what I'm doing on what specific days. If you want to know what hour I plan to do it, check uh, the main channel page. If you click the icon down there on the uh, browser version, you can go to the schedule tab. It'll show what specific hour. Although like today, I was like three hours later than I originally planned. So that's all subject to change. If you want to make sure you don't miss anything, Follow me on Twitter, at IggyDKid, and turn on notifications. I tweet out every time I go live, unless there's some weird thing with Twitter, which there has been once or twice in the past. Um, or, I would appreciate if you considered following me. It's free for you if you have a Twitch account and, uh... Oh. Oh, no. Piantissimo, no. Don't do it. Um, it's free for you if you have an account. You just hit the heart up above, and it helps out the channel a great deal. And you can set up the uh you can set up notifications so that you can get emailed or you can get uh through the twitch app you can get notifications whenever you go live so that's the best way to do it really appreciate it if you considered it let me actually yes save saving all right uh with all of that said once again i'd like to thank you for inviting me into your home your computer your phone your tablet your game console however it is you watch today i really appreciate it i hope i brought some entertainment and levity into your life i do my best and i hope you'll join me for my next stream which should be thursday i'll be playing more of the eShop demos i think on thursday uh or maybe friday i'm not sure yet uh like i said follow me and all that and you'll be sure so i hope you'll tune in for that and hey if nobody else has said this to you i'll say this to you right now you're a good kid thanks for watching everybody goodbye good night join me again next time i stream follow me all that i would really appreciate it thank you goodbye good night goodbye Spectacular amusement park and succulent seafood. Oh. All this and more await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit.